for one here's another video of the practical section of the semester 2 syllabus so in this video we will discuss the study of serial homology in cephalothoracic appendages and prawn so theory the, uh, those organs having similar origin and structure but function may be different such organs are called as homologous organ and these phenomenon is called as homology and where the serial homology uh, has this basic fundamental structure are similar and its origin are also similar but they perform various function and all these appendages are arranged in a serial order in the one and same animal and it is called as the serial homology and in case of prawn there are 19 appendages 19 pairs of appendages are present so it is divided into three that is cephalic appendages thoracic appendages and abdominal appendages so cephalic appendages include the antineural antenna mandible maxillula and the maxilla while the thoracic appendages included the first maxillipede second maxillipede third maxillipede and the walking legs so the first chilic leg and the second chilic legs and the non chilic legs so significance are as follows so here are the figures of the antineural antenna mandibles and the maxilla maxillula maxilla first maxillipede and the second maxillipede and the third maxillipede so here the carpus exopodite varus plus ischium basis coxan equipodite where ischium is present in this uh, it is separate into the merus and the ischium so there the, is a the difference in the second maxillipede and the third maxillipede so non chilet leg is larger uh, than the first chilet leg and it is a uh, uh, divided into dactylus, procoders, carpus, merus, ischium, basis, and the coxa. So, this is a figure of chelate leg, which is slightly different from the male to the female. So, thank you for watching.